I made a list of a series of tasks that you'll be performing in order to fulfill this lab. So first of all, you're going to determine the wavelength at which the absorbance of a dye is at the highest. So you'll be required to use two dyes. One is a yellow dye, one is a blue dye. For my illustration purposes, I'm going to be working with the blue dye. So based on the maximum wavelength of your dye, you're going to also plot the absorbance spectrum for this dye, and you're going to, on that graph, show the area where you have the highest, um, the, the, the wavelength where the, absorb the absorbance is the highest. And thirdly, you're going to record the percentage and absorbance of varying concentrations of your dye. And then that data that you get, you're going to actually use it to plot a calibration curve. And you're plotting the absorbance of different concentrations of the dye versus the concentration. You're supposed to get a calibration curve. Then based on that graph that you get, you're going to use the curve to determine the concentration of dye in a particular beverage or a mouthwash. So that beverage or mouthwash that is given to you won't know how much dye is present in it. But using the calibration curve, you'll be able to determine the concentration of dye in your beverage or mouthwash. I'm going to use a mouthwash as an example. And then you're going to determine the molar absorptivity of that dye. So I'll talk a little bit more about molar absorptivity when we get to that point.